Hurricane Florence swept into the coast of the Carolinas, twice its original size. That's given it more time to absorb moisture, which it's now dumping on the coast. Overnight, the winds dropped to around 150 kilometres an hour, making it a Category 1 storm, down from a Category 4 a few days ago. Torrential rain is making this hurricane even more dangerous. And if it stays like this for days, major rivers will break their banks, leading to catastrophic flooding further inland. What about, um, Emergency crews are trying to rescue more than 100 people trapped on their rooftops in the city of New Bern. I knew the water wasn't coming in. There, some people had decided not to evacuate from their homes. But the waters rose too high, and now they're in trouble. I've never been so terrified in my entire life. <sighs> it was horrifying. Just wondering what's going on and, and where the water's going to go and how high it's going to go and how we are going to get out. Around half a million people in North Carolina are without power, and the number is growing. Officials say it could reach three million people. Utility crews from all over the country are standing by to restore power when it's safe for them to be out. We have approximately 20,000 or so people in 157 shelters. That number fluctuates. More shelters will be set up. Over the coming days, the focus will shift from the coast to inland. Gale force winds and constant rain will likely down power lines and trees. This hurricane has slowed down on the coast, but that doesn't make it less dangerous. In fact, it could still be the deadliest storm the east coast of America has ever seen.